Do you want to learn how to create an article outline quickly and easily? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. Outlining is a key part of my writing workflow. I use outlines to figure out what articles are about in advance, to outline book chapters and even entire books. I also use article outlines to brief other writers for the content publishing websites that I run. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm gonna walk through how you can create article outlines quickly and easily and what you need to do it. Hope you enjoy the content in this video all about article outlines. If you do hit thumbs up and if you wanna get more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. To create an article outline, you don't need very much. However, I do recommend using an outliner app. Elsewhere on the channel, I've reviewed the best outliner apps that you can try. So go check out that video, but if you don't have time to check it out, the ones I recommend are Dynalist and Workflowy. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use Dynalist because it's the outlining app that I use uh, the most. The second thing that you'll need if you're going to uh, use or create an article outline is an article idea or a topic. So you need to figure out what the purpose of the article is. And to do that, I always recommend maybe writing uh, two to three headlines or researching a keyword if it's an article uh, that you're going to uh, publish on your website or alternatively summarize what the article is about in a sentence. So that way you can give your article a bit of focus. Now for the purposes of this video, which will also double as an article on the Become a Writer Today site, I've picked a keyword, which is how to write an article outline. Once you've figured out what your article is about, I'd recommend setting a target word count. So I usually go for a thousand words. Uh, so in this case, my keyword is actually how to write an article outline. So I'm gonna remove this uh, extraneous or unnecessary uh, information. And this way I can write this outline myself or the one that I'm gonna produce in a moment, or I can share it with other writers on the team. Now I usually spend about five to 10 minutes writing an article outline. So once I have an idea of what the article is about, uh, I'll call this the brief and I'll indent these sections. And um, if it's for me, I won't put in who this is for, but if it's for another writer who needs a bit more information, uh, I'll put in this bit of extra information so they know who to address. And if there's anything about tone of voice, um, I could potentially put in a URL here as well. But again, if it's for me and I'm producing the article myself, I already know this, so I wouldn't put in these items. So now let's get into actually creating the outline itself. Now again, I don't spend too much time in this. Just think of it as brainstorming or mind mapping. Your job is simply to get the ideas for the article out of your head and onto the blank page, or in this case, the outlining app. So I'll start by putting introduction and conclusion. And in the introduction, I will say something like, summarize what the article is about and because this is a how-to article it should have steps so i'll have step one step two step three examples and software and tools required <clears throat> and for the conclusion i'll say something like provide two to three takeaways for the reader now, when I'm looking at this, if I felt like I had a good handle on the article, I would actually just start writing based on what I have here alone. Um, but if I was briefing this to another writer, it might not be enough information for them. So I'd start elaborating uh, on the steps. So step one could be get the right tools. And in this case, uh, get the right tools immediately uh, lines up with the section about software and tools required. So I'll move this up and indent it. Uh, and then I'll put in outlining apps. Dynalist, Workflowy. And these are the two outlining apps that I recommend. Now, of course, you, depending on the length of the article, I could expand on the pros and cons of each one of these tools. And this is why I like outlining apps because I can actually zoom in on uh, individual sections in the outline and I can talk about these uh, without getting distracted by everything else in the article. Explain what it does, pricing, what it's for. And if I zoom back out, uh, you can see how the extra information about Dynalist fits into the article as a whole, and then I can expand and collapse these bullets. So again, it really does, does depend on whether you're writing a thousand word article, a 500 word article, or 10,000 word mega guide, how much information you want to provide. Um, so I go ahead and I flesh out each one of these steps. Uh, okay, so summarize the article, brainstorm, 
key points. View research. So in this case, if I had any notes uh, in um, Evernote or Obsidian, which is the type of personal management software that I use, and have a video about that elsewhere on the channel, uh, I will put this in to my outline. Structure the outline. Uh, so in this way, I'll go and flesh out uh, what I want the article to be all about before I've actually, you know, spent 20, 20 minutes writing each one of these sections and then figuring out that I haven't quite said what I wanted to say. And I like this because then I can drag and drop and I can move steps around and re reorder them and renumber them. <clears throat> and then when I'm ready, then I can, of course, share this with another team member uh, using Workflowy or Dynalist. Or I can simply open up Google Docs and refer to this article outline while I write in Google Docs. Or alternatively, I also like dictating. So sometimes I'll print out the article outline or have it on my phone, put, turn on my dictation software and just dictate the actual draft of the article while referring to this outline. I've created various types of article outlines over the years. Uh, here's an article that I published on the Become a Writer Today site and also recorded a video about on this channel, which is a review of ClearScope. And basically in the outline, I just simply said what gave myself these bullet points before I wrote the article and recorded the video. What is it? Who is it created by? The pricing, what to use it for. And then I listed out the various things I use ClearScope for, how I use it. And then I have a link here to an example of me using this particular tool. Uh, a list of the competitors, uh, the pros, the cons, and then the conclusion. Um, it took me about five minutes to create this article outline and it saved me a good bit of time. The software I've showed you there is Dynalist, but you don't necessarily need to use Dynalist. You can create outlines using any note-taking app. In fact, here is Apple Notes. So I sometimes use Apple Notes to outline podcast episodes uh, in advance. I recently interviewed Brian Crossan for the Become a Writer Today podcast. Uh, I didn't spend too much time in this outline. I just gave myself um, a bit of information from our email conversation about who he is that I could refer to uh, while interviewing Brian. Uh, and then I ha had a couple of the bullet point questions that I wanted to ask him about and also his bio uh, as well. And this was simply enough for me to feel like we had something to talk about during the interview and to give the interview a bit of structure. I've also experimented with using outlines for books. So I recently wrote a book called I Can't Believe I'm a Dad. And when I was figuring out the key sections in an early draft of this book, and I would say that the final book was quite a bit different because I got feedback from an editor, uh, I broke it into three acts. And when I was then brainstorming what was in each act, I simply created bullet points for each of the key chapters. And then I went into indented bullets uh, about what the relevant sections in each chapter should be about. And then that way I was able to move around different sections in the book and get a feel for it before I sat down uh, to write it. Here is another example uh, of a book chapter from that particular book. It was all about uh, my kids learning how to talk when they were small, when they were one and two. So that at the time the chapter was called Learning to Speak, uh, the final version was a bit different. Um, but I simply said introduction and then summarized what the chapter is about. Um, and then for each of the key sections in the book, I went into a little or into the book chapter, I went into a little bit more information about points that I wanted to hit. Now, th these may not make sense if you're looking at this on a video, but because I'd already had an idea of what the book was about, this was enough for me to refer to as a type of writing prompt. Um, and I created because the book chapter was a 2000 words, I think it was. I went into a little bit more detail with these bullets than I did uh, with bullets for a simple article like the one that I've shown you. Now you may notice that I had a leftover section at the bottom. So basically when I was uh, brainstorming uh, bullets or ideas for the book chapter, there was a couple of points that I thought were interesting, but then I wasn't quite sure where to put them. So I simply created a leftovers section um, and I just put slash no, because these were ideas that I couldn't fit into this particular book chapter, but I didn't want to lose them. Perhaps if there was another book chapter uh, that they could be useful for, then I could still have access to these ideas and copy them across to a different outline. So my takeaway for you there is always to keep your cutoffs or your cast offs because um, you never know, you could use them for another writing project. And I suppose the reason why I like outlining apps is I can you know, collapse these so they don't get in the way uh, of my outlines either. Um, and I can just focus on what's here at the top. Um, now the other good advantage of doing all of this with outlining software is you can actually turn it into a mind map as well. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. If I click on mind map, which you need the pro version of Dynalist for, I can zoom out and I can see the structure of this particular article. Um, but let's go back to where we started the video, which was how to write an article outline. Let's click on the view option and let's click on mind map. 
So I can see a mind map of this particular article. Um, I can also go ahead and go back to document and then I can click on article and it will remove the bullets. And then I could potentially copy all of these and just paste these into Google Docs or paste them into a brief to another writer. So there you go, that's my process for creating article outlines. Um, the key takeaway is that it should be organic. Just get your ideas and research out of your head. Don't worry about uh, grammatically correct bullet points. You simply just wanna get an idea of what the structure of the article looks like. Do try and understand upfront who the article is for and what the key point of the article is. Uh, and that will help you create a more relevant outline. And of course, if you're publishing this on the web, spend a little bit of time figuring out what the keyword is for the article too. If you found this video all about article outlines helpful, hit thumbs up. But if you want to get more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.